Hi, it's Olivia, and today I'll be reviewing the book Passing by Anella Larson. I was recommended this book by Brie Hill from her channel of the same name. I know she loved this book, she gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and I finally got around to picking it up, and I really enjoyed it. This first half is going to stay spoiler free, but uh, I'll warn you when I get into spoilers because I do want to talk about the ending. This book is about our main character, Irene, who is a black woman, but she is light skinned enough to pass for a white woman. However, she has um, sided with the African American community and stuck with that side. And then her friend, Claire, from childhood, is also a black woman who is light skinned enough to pass for white, but she has branched away from like any ties to the African American community. The term passing itself means the movement of someone who is uh, legally or socially designated as black into a white racial identity or category. The introduction, which I thought was really insightful, explained how that was one of the consequences of the Plessy v. Ferguson uh, case, Supreme Court case in 1896. That was the famous case that, that had the term uh, separate but equal. I thought that this book brought up um, really great discussions about racial identity and especially those who are biracial, like where, which race they choose to identify with. Um, and this book, I feel like it, it hinged a lot on security. I think that one of the highlights of this book was the writing. I really loved Nella Larson's writing style, which makes me want to pick up another one of her books. Uh, she uses a lot of commas, like she has really long sentences, and that might, maybe that's off-putting to some people, but I actually really like that. It To me, it's kind of like a train of thought which a bun with a bunch of like sub thoughts and I think that's how I think a lot <laughs> so I completely understood it. I thought it brought kind of more clarity to what she was thinking um, and just the imagery that she wrote with I thought was excellent. I thought that this book gave a different type of edge of your seat type of thing. I was very interested to see what would happen, especially towards the end. I was just like on the edge of my seat and I just, I really wasn't expecting that from this book at all. I thought that the ending, like the finale, or the last part of it, I think part four, was fantastic and it ended very abruptly, I think. But at the same time, I felt like I got closure. That's gonna be the end of the non-spoiler section because I really wanna talk about the ending now. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Claire's death. Uh, I did not see that coming. When there was that mention of what if she had died, uh, I, I had a thought like, ooh, what if something dark is going to happen here? But I didn't think that she would actually die. <laughs> um, and not in that way. That was such an intense moment when he came in, her husband, and I really do think that Irene pushed her out. I think Irene in that moment was just so overwhelmed with seeing because security is such a heavy part that they talk about. She And she had it figured out. She wasn't going to tell Claire or her husband about having seen Claire's husband. Like she wanted, she had things planned out. Claire was going to leave in March. But I think him showing up there was just like the tipping point for her. And whether or not she realized it, I think, I think she did push her out. Um, but that was very, oh my gosh, that was... Very interesting. I did really like the dy dynamic of their friendship, Irene and Claire. Um, you know, you can see like where Irene held sort of like a fondness for Claire, but then you can see where she starts to despise Claire. But oh my gosh, we need to talk about that scene where all, all of them are together, her, Gertrude, and Claire. Oh! <laughs> we have Gertrude and Irene who have I believe they both have black children. I think Gertrude has black children, but Claire does not. And her husband comes in and is just spewing the just most despicable things. And can you imagine for... T I just can't imagine being in that situation. And just, I know that it's fictional, but that I, but knowing that there were people who, who spoke like that, like her husband, just is mind-blowing. That there is to see such blatant hatred and to know that that person thinks that that is the right way to think, that they're not in the wrong, oh, it's just, it's incredible. And the idea of Claire not wanting to have another child because a child might come out dark, oh my, just that concept, I just, if you couldn't tell, I thought this was a pretty thought-provoking book. Uh, I did take off a few points because I did feel like 
the marriage infidelity part was kind of thrown in there. Like, I don't know. I, I was kind of iffy about her husband cheating on her. Um, but aside from that, I, I thought that it was a, a fantastic book. Thank you, Brie, for recommending it to me. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.